Today we're going to talk about sedimentary rocks. So, previously we talked about igneous rocks, and igneous rocks were made from magma. Um, hot liquid rock cooling and hardening. Today we're talking sedimentary rocks. So there's your heading. Remember this is leading to an open note test. Um, go ahead and write down a formation. So sedimentary rocks, how do they form? First of all, they form Earth's surface. About 70% of Earth's surface is sedimentary rocks. Go ahead and write this. Form Earth's surface about 70% of Earth's surface is sedimentary rocks. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a rock, let's say it's igneous rock, we could call it, we could call it Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore over time is weathering, it's eroding, and it's creating sediments. What a sediment is, is it's a little particle, write this if you haven't, a little particle that wears off. So Mount Rushmore is close to 100 years old. For the last 100 years, rain has, has fallen, off, fallen on it. A wind, we know it's windy in South Dakota. Um, snow has frozen on it and thawed and frozen and thawed. And little particles of Mount Rushmore are falling off and you don't notice it because it's only been 100 years, and in a rock life, 100 years is nothing. But weathering is happening. Weathering erosion. So over time, little particles, little sediments come off. They're going to gather somewhere, usually in a low spot. They're going to pile up. And compaction is going to squeeze the particles together. Write this, by the way. Um, I don't know how many people have this experience, but um, this last spring, I was pulling out some fence in my road ditch. And the fence had been there for probably 30 or more years. And the posts were only about two foot high. Now, 30 years ago, they didn't put in two foot high posts. They put in regular like six or eight foot high posts. But what had happened is that the gravel and dirt and things off the road washed into the ditch and over time it built up and it kind of silted in the fence. Um, some of the fence I couldn't get out like I hooked up to my, my four-wheeler and pulled it out and it broke off, but it, it's underneath the ground. Um, it had silted in, it had um, all these eroded particles had, had covered it up. Okay, now if that kept happening, as more and more things build up, it's going to squish it down, it's gonna compact it together. And those little particles are gonna get squished, squeezed together. And then, go ahead and write this. Cementation of minerals like calcite holds the grains together. There are minerals in the ground that act as kind of a glue, a cement, and it's going to stick these particles together. So you pile up the particles, you got a little of this calcite, the little um, cement, and it gets pushed together, it gets squeezed together, and it's going to, over a long, long period of time, make rock. They call it sedimentary rock because sediments are squeezed together to form it. You don't need to write this. Don't worry about this, but calcite, quartz, hematite, um, there are some natural cements in the ground that um, when mixed with water, we'll stick things together. And then, 
over time, these sediments, go ahead and write this, glued and squished together, are going to make layers. And I don't know if you can see the picture real well, but a lot of times you will see these layers along like the river. Okay, if you've ever been to like Yankton along the Missouri River somewhere, okay, Sioux City, and they have these big bluffs um, where the river actually eroded away the rock. And you can see layers of rock. You can see where, oh, that's kind of reddish, and then it gets maybe lighter colored and then darker colored um, because those layers were formed at different times. And a lot of times you can tell um, like if, if someone would find like a fossil of some dinosaur or something, I mean, you can tell how old the dinosaur is based on what layer of rock that you find it, find it in. So if it's near the top, okay, maybe it's not very um, old. If it's way in the bottom somewhere, it means it's older. Let's stop there.